Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we see more of this gorgeous village, our generator poops itself, we dive Tomia and get help from the locals to fix our generator. While we waited to hear from Jay about our Jenny, we hung out with Aita. Usuku is 99% Muslim and the people are kind and helpful. There are many mosques or, as the Indonesians say, Mosqueways in Osuku. And while we were waiting, Ida asked, Do you want to go and see inside one? We said, Yeah, if we can. She said, Come on then. So we went for a little bit of a look while there were some people praying. The mosque was incredibly beautiful and it was a really interesting insight to a religion that we knew nothing about. To show Taj and Bella different cultures and different religions on our travels is something truly special, learning not to judge and to see people as the same as you and I. We are all human and what is most important is to be kind and loving and these people have shown us so much kindness and love and that's what warms our hearts beyond words. Hello. <laughs> The markets are fun, now we know how to communicate better. And this woman's fresh matabak manis are the best. After the markets, we went to see Aita. She wasn't feeling the best today, but still insisted she cooked us some food. We got here, Mama. We got some rice, soup, tempeh, eggs, some kind of delicious sauce. <laughs> Yum. Yeah. Oh, sour. Mm -hmm. Oh, tamarind. Everything. Uh, what? Yeah. I have some, and I'm, I've never used it. I have some. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know what to put it in. <laughs> well, That's enough. good, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Oh, you little cutie. Hello. <laughs> this is Ita's gorgeous little daughter, Alin. She's a cutie, but still not sure of us bullies. We got a call from Jay and he found a generator that we could borrow. It was 2,000 watts. So we jumped in the back of a truck to go pick it up and also to take our generator to another mechanic. One thing we've learnt travelling in Indonesia is patience. To go with the flow and just let things happen when they happen. So here we are in the back of a truck going who knows where to see who knows who to hopefully Borrow a generator. Woohoo! One problem solved. Sounds like I was in reverse. I was in reverse. That's just a bit That's a clutch break for you. <laughs> and back to the boat to run our water maker. We thought our generator had had it and um, we took it over. Where Lee was a hopeful but wasn't sure. He thought that they didn't he wasn't sure if he was gonna be able to fix it. But um yeah, we got we got called last night and they said they fixed it, so oh, it's working. Picked it up today, it cost us six hundred and sixty-five thousand rupiah, which is about sixty-five Australian dollars. They had their generator for two days. Yeah, um, he, two different workshops. Yeah. Um, they drove us around on motorbikes. Uh, they lent us a another yeah, generator, so. yeah, to use so we could clean out our water maker. Um, yeah, we're really stoked right now. The people here are absolutely beautiful and amazing and really helpful. <laughs> Could have a trick. Hey! hey. You can play. Trying to start it. 
Also, what's going on with the generator? Well, it's going. That's a start. But they've put it back together wrong. It's actually got the fuel, uh, the pull cord is rubbing on the fuel tank and it's the bottom of the tank too so if you can see how the pull cord here rubs through the housing when it's pulled like that it's obviously permanently rubbing on the tank it's going to rub straight through that so I'll fix that and then I just so I just checked the fuse and I thought I'd open that up and have a look so instead of a fuse they've just joined the two fuse ends together so there's no fuse in there now so I'm not happy with that and I don't know what size fuse it was so I've got to get onto that a little bit of Google and find out what that is what size and um, I'll pull it, pull it apart again and just make sure they've just slid the tank in the wrong position missing a few screws but it's going yeah so, we're happy it's going but Lee's just gonna make sure it's all yeah. okay because he knows this thing inside and out. <laughs> yeah. And if anyone has any trouble with them, I can just about guarantee you it's the carburetor. It's just, that's been that a number of times on this, just especially in Indonesia with the bad fuel. It, um, careful, like it's, it's just very poor quality fuel, especially in these remote areas. Yeah. So that's all good. We've got power again. So the pull cord snapped. Uh, the spring inside, so we've half um, fixed that. I would like another pull cord. Apart from that, I think we'll run with it. Should be right. <laughs> Good morning. Um, this morning our generator has conked it again. Um, we were making a smoothie and we don't know if it overpowered it or whatever happened, but it's not working. So we didn't make water with the generator yesterday because we cleaned it out and we just weren't 100% sure that the generator was all good so we um because we'd pickled it so lee this morning being positive and optimistic thought it doesn't matter it's torrential rain outside we will work out a way so we've blocked up our cockpit area um, there's a little bit of a basin in there and then he's just put the hose siphoned it and it's now filling up our water tanks so we're being resourceful even though we're in a bit of a shit position again <laughs> but it's all good look at all that water it's making water quicker than the water maker yes. see babe it all works out we'll go to Ambon now and get a new generator The universe is teaching us many lessons, but we've got to smile. Smile the whole way. I need more hope. So Lee's attempting to uh, fix it one more time. He's just opening up to have a look to see what they've done. You want to explain what they've done? Oh, look. I don't know what they've done, but they've cut wires, joined them with tape, put fuses back together without fuses. We've got here should be a fuse in there and they've just joined both ends together and bypassed the fuse. They've put a few tapes on here, they've cut a few wires, added a bit of wire on, joined a few wires. Um, there was a breather on this vacuum fuel pump and they've put uh, super glue or something over that. Um, yeah, they're pretty helpful but we need a new generator. There's something electrical and it's either the ECU or the just some capacitor or something. It's very hit and miss. Um, just wouldn't mind getting a little bit more charge and the batteries before we head off. Our plan is to leave tomorrow and go to, straight to Ambon, which is about 300 nautical miles away. But we did want to do some more diving. Yeah, we wanted we to get up to Hogger Island. Hogger and whatnot, but Wangy Wangy. See a bit more of Wakatobi, but oh well. It wasn't meant to be. We need generator because we need power, especially um, now as it's We haven't had any sunlight for like the rainy three days, season. So. so that's where we're supposed to go. Unless Lee can fix it. Mm -hmm. Come on baby, you can do it! 
I believe in you. No, not this time. You've said that before. you said it plenty of times. Just uh, mark my words, I have faith in him. We'll see how he goes. So Lee must have pulled the st string on the generator over 5,000 times. He's still trying to get it going. He got it going when it was downstairs, but couldn't leave it running because it would have gassed us. Being very persistent. Very determined, aren't you? Oh, I give up. No, you don't. You say that all the time, and then I come out and you're still pulling that string. <laughs> That arm's bigger than the other arm. <laughs> Will be. It'll work. I believe in you. Okay, so attempt 50, pulling this apart. It's been to the mechanics. Um, wouldn't start again, and a result of that, I've pulled the cord out again. The coil has snapped several times. So we we're over there this morning, and we were able to source a new spring so this is my new coil spring which had been snapped and we'd bent that two or three times and yeah no good but we're able to find one of these for five dollars so hopefully I pull this apart put this back in and I don't know it's uh, an electronic problem something's going on all of a sudden it'll start and then it won't start but we just wouldn't mind getting it going so let's see what we can do Decided to get back in the water, we packed the tender and headed to a new dive location. Let's roll our team.
beautiful dive. The little island nearby looked interesting, so we went for an explore. Someone's had a feast. We had a bit of a wander until we were all hungry and then headed back to Catalpa. Another dive on the other side of the island. This, this was my favorite dive in Tomia. The viz was fantastic. Or a turtle. We haven't seen heaps of turtles in Indonesia, so it was nice to see this guy representing. There are so many turtles in Australia and I love watching them. There's something peaceful and calming about our friends the turtle. So Taj and Mummy have been um, budding and Bella and I have been budding off the one computer and we just popped up and both of our computers say error on them so I don't know what we're going to do. I'm assuming they're batteries that they've both gone at the same time. So we just got back from visiting Ina and she kindly bought us all. One of these little little packs. Little packs for dinner, cents, eh? fifty cents. Fifty cents, I think they do them up. Well, not even. I think about five, thirty cents. Five thousand. Yeah. So Lima, Lima Ribu, or food from the traditional market. It is cassava leaf with coconut, and it smells amazing. So I'll try she that. She has too. given us that much food. But yeah. She's just so lovely. We went over to say goodbye today or tonight and um, she said, when are you leaving? <laughs> we said tomorrow. She said, you come, you come to my home before you leave. She wants to cook us more. <laughs> so we'll go over and, and say our goodbyes in the morning before we go. So tomorrow we're going to head to Ambon. We were hoping to see more of Wakatobi, but because we had a bit over a week until we had to extend our visas, we decided it was best to head to Ambon, heading ashore to say farewell to this little town that we have grown so fond of. Buying an apple for the road. Bye bye. 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 Bye b
Photo here. We will miss this place and hope to visit one day again. Bye, Usuku. Sumba Jumalagi. So join us next time as we leave Wakatobi and sail the 300 nautical miles to Ambon. <laughs> Go. Hi guys. Hi guys. That was episode 74. We're in Ambon um, still. We haven't left. So you just watched us leave Tomia and on our way to Ambon. So you're catching up to real time. So that's cool. Uh, we had a little bit of a generator issue. Yes. Uh, we still haven't got a new one. We've been here for a month and the generator has been running smoothly. Yeah. We still don't know what the problem was. A number of things, electrical, bad fuel, we don't know. It's, it's a bit of guesswork. But we don't have a new one and we're about to leave. So we actually found a new one here in Ambon and we can get it for $1,500. Um, we're not sure if it is a genuine one. It is a Honda dealer. I think it's real. Um, it has Indonesian plugs, so that was also another concern. All of our electronics, obviously, are Australian plugs. Lee can modify it, yes, of course, but it's a lot of money for us and we just weren't sure of what to do. So basically, we're asking you guys on an opinion. $1,500 is half of our money that we have and what we are traveling on. We've been doing pretty good though. We left Australia with, I think, $5,000, so... We are about to do a video on how we do it. So if you are interested in sailing on a budget, this next video that we bring out is for you. Yeah. So no more on that right now. <laughs> but yeah, we just wanted to ask your opinion, guys, because uh, what would you do? So if you were sailing, as a family, generators have been giving you issues, you know that. We have an opportunity to get one. It's not the one that we want and it's using a lot of our money. Would you get a generator or would you leave here without that generator and rely on the one that has caused us grief? But has been running smoothly for the last month. Hasn't missed a beat. Hasn't missed a beat. But. What do we do? <laughs> I really don't want to leave without the new generator. <laughs> There's a lot of going on. So we're just asking you guys' opinion. What would you do? Comment below, let us know. And um, we love hearing from what your thoughts. Well, I think being that we've changed our mind now with Raja Rampat, where it's a little bit more remote, um, not having a generator up there, especially being, as we've said in previous episodes, our generator's main um, function is to make our water so um, yeah, so our, our plans so. have changed. We were planning on going up to Misul, um, Raja Ampat, but we've got to be out of Indonesia in less than four weeks. So we are a bit pressed for time. It's also going to cost us $400 uh, for a permit to go to Raja Ampat. Um, so we we were happy to pay that if we were going to be there for a little bit and really use the utilize the time and see as much as we wanted to see. We're not going to be able to get as high as we wanted to get up into Raja Ampat. So we're thinking that maybe we'll do that another time, unfortunately. Um, I know you, a lot of you guys wanted to see Raja Ampat when we did too, so we're a bit bummed about that. But that's okay, we're going to take you to some beautiful places still. Our next um, destination is probably going to be the Spice Islands and then to K Islands, which is apparently amazing. So there is some good stuff coming up still, so stay tuned. We hope you enjoy watching us and... Yeah, stay tuned and yeah, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> Share with your friends. See you next time. See you next time. It all comes all thanks to you all. All thanks to y'all. guys my new t-shirt designs are out and they're also in kids sizes now so if you want one just go over to the website and check it out bye